Good morning, penguins. We've got another story today. This one is called Jack and the Jelly Bean Stalk. Shall we have a look? Jack's mum shook the biscuit barrel and peered inside the bread bin. She looked in dismay at the last few crumbs. I'm sorry, Jack, she sighed, but the cupboards are bare and my purse is empty. We'll have to sell Daisy. Don't worry, Mum, said Jack sadly. I'll get a good price for her. Daisy was the cutest cow you ever did see. So it wasn't surprising that even before they got to town, a farmer had offered Jack 20 gold coins for her. 20 gold coins? cried Jack. His mum will be so pleased. Jack was on his way home when all of a sudden he spotted a wonderful sweet shop. Inside there were juicy jellies, fizzy whizzers, gooey gums, heaps of lollies, chunky chocolate raisins, yummy pineapple chunks, rainbow sherbets and strawberry straws. But Jack could not take his eyes off an enormous bag of jelly beans. These are magic beans in every flavour you could wish for, smiled the shopkeeper. And for 20 gold coins, you can have them all. Every flavour he could wish for? Jack couldn't help himself. He handed over the money. Jack walked home in a dream. But when he got home, without Daisy and without any money, his mum was furious. You silly boy! What are those jelly beans? She threw the bag outside and sent Jack straight to bed without any supper. In the middle of the night, Jack woke to a delicious smell of blueberries, chocolate, strawberries, ice cream and caramel wafting in through his window. A giant jelly bean stalk was growing in his garden. It was a beautiful sight, shining in the moonlight, covered in brightly coloured beans in all the yummy flavours Jack had ever dreamed of. Jack opened his window and began to climb, cramming jelly beans into his mouth as he went. Orange, pear, mint, sherbet, chocolate chip, apple pie, candy floss, popcorn. Higher and higher he climbed until feeling rather full, he came to a huge golden gate and a large sign. It says, angry giant, beware. Jack was hesitating when he heard a strange noise. He peered behind the door. Honk, honk, sobbed the little white goose. The giant is so angry. I tried my best to lay more golden eggs, but it's just no good. The pantry is empty and there's nothing to eat in this castle except me and that stringy old harp. Suddenly, the ground shook. Fee, fi, fo, foy. I smell a juicy boy. Goose is good, but boy so tasty, served with chips and wrapped in pastry. Oh dear. Stop, stuttered Jack as the giant scooped him up in his hand. I'm very bony and I haven't washed in weeks. Give me ten minutes and I'll bring you a banquet, a feast fit for a king. Hmm, thought the giant, putting Jack back down again. My clock is ticking, tick, tick, tick. Bring my feast and make it quick. Jack had never worked so fast. In 10 minutes, he had picked hundreds of jelly beans. The giant had melon beans for his starter and fish and chips beans for his main course. It was all washed down with a fruity bean smoothie. The goose watched hungrily. The giant was just about to tuck into his pudding beans when <gasps> the goose swallowed them down whole. 
The giant was furious. He grabbed the goose and shook her. Honk, honk, honk. But the beans would not come out. He threw her down to grab the carving knife. Jack grabbed the goose and raced for the jelly bean stalk. Stop! yelled the giant, giant thundering after them. He grabbed the stalk and tried to climb down, but he was far too heavy. The jelly bean stalk began to sway. Jack jumped off just in time. It wobbled and it wibbled. Then came crashing to the ground far away from Jack. Crash! Jack looked around and grinned. Their garden was covered in jelly beans. The goose never laid another golden egg, but she did lay delicious speckled ones, tooty fruity ones and tingy tangy ones. Jack and his mum had enough jelly beans to feed them for years, although every so often they would find one that tasted like smelly old socks. Yuck. Okay, let's see if you can have a go at today's challenge all about that story. <laughs>